Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into my classic car, home with a certified car nut. Well, this week we're in McCungee, Pennsylvania for the Wheels of Time Rod and Custom Jamboree. This show is in its 31st year and it's held in the beautiful McCungee Memorial Park, but the weather hasn't really cooperated this year, so the whole thing's got a bit more of a Woodstock feel. But you know, that hasn't stopped over 2,000 car owners from bringing their babies out, slip sliding around a little bit, and having a big old time. And you know, I think cars look good even with mud on them. See what you think. You know, you've been doing this show, what, 31 years? You're going to have rain once in a while. Occasionally, yeah. That uh, This is probably the worst I've ever seen, but, you know, things are good. We're smiling, having a good time. Yeah, but it gives it that, you know, it gives it that Woodstock feel, you know, and it, everybody doesn't see, nobody seems to care. No. No, we have a good time no matter what. I can't believe the, you know, these cars are coming into some pretty wet fields, but, but again, I mean, so they got mud on their tires. They clean back up. Sure they do. <laughs> Mine's 70 years old. It's been wet before. It's been wet before. <laughs> you know, they were built to be that way. Yeah. Now. Is this kind of a local show, or does this draw from far and wide? Uh, we draw far and wide. Uh, a lot of local from uh, the immediate states, but we draw from sometimes the Midwest, Florida, all the New England states. Yeah. Uh, so eastern half of the United States, pretty much. And this is one that people, you know, put on their calendar, and they come back year after year. Oh, certainly. Yes, yes, we are. Pre-registration is phenomenal. <laughs> well, I tell you, it, it is a blast. You know, it, it, like I said, it's been a little bit wet, but what do you say we slide around in the mud a little bit and have some fun? Sure, let's all right, go. let's go, man. Well, Charlie, I was uh, stomping around in the mud here, and, and, and I came upon this car. I, I, it, it's beautiful. And I went, wow, I don't remember Chevy making this car. And that's because they didn't. They did. <laughs> Charlie made this car. Right? <laughs> so this is a, it's a 53 two-door post wagon. Well, it, it was a four-door wagon. They took doors and quarters from a two-door sedan and put them on it, and then lowered the roof down, two and a quarter in the front, eight in the back. Wow. Yeah, because it's got a, it's got a nice slant to it. Slant. How many cars went into this? Uh, it took two station wagons and a sedan to build this. Yeah, I mean I, this is just great. And then, you know, you, you kept a very stock interior. I mean a little bit of a, a, a custom upholstery, uh, but you still got the the 53 that asymmetric uh, uh, that has gauge a stock cluster. instrument cluster in it and steering column. Stock seats too. Uh, sedan seat in the front, original station wagon seat in the rear. And it, I mean, was the station wagon seat raised up like that? Well, the seat's in the stock location, and it's all, you know, it's all an original seat. The roof and everything came down so much, it gives the illusion that the oh, back does, seat's yeah. up. Oh, it's something when you see, you put a full-size person back there, they think they're sitting on top of the well, it's car. Kinda, it's kind of it's kind of stadium seating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, clean, white headliner. But I tell you, it's, it's this, it's this window here that just blows me away. And you did some work to, to turn this floor door into a into a two-door and then all the grafting and stuff that had to go into the fenders. That's quite a bit. Obviously a custom window, right? Oh yeah. That's a big chunk yeah, of glass. Five, five foot of glass. Five foot of glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, you got a real nomad look back here. Now, the, the, the 53 had kind of a horizontal uh, it did. bars, right? We overlaid the tailgate. The slats are from an 85 Blazer roof. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it's pretty a, cool. The latch, the upper latch is a VW. The <laughs> rear bumper is original, but I cut the tops off the bumperettes so it would make it look like a kid could run up and open the top and jump in. Wow, yeah, 327. 327, 300. Uh, Corvette 270 horse carburetors. Uh, I mean, it's such a great engine and power glide, great, great Oh, combo. nice, it's, it's a pleasure to drive. This oh, thing I... just goes down the road like it's on a cloud. And, and uh, is this something, I mean, is this a driver? Oh yeah, first 100 miles on it, I had 100 miles on it, I drove it to Columbus, Ohio to the Good Guys show, first, <laughs> first run. Well, you brought out an absolutely fabulous car, and I'm sure glad you did, man. 53 two-door post. Chevy should have done it. They should have yeah, done it. <laughs> Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Steve, <clears throat> this is completely insane. I, <laughs> I've done Morris Miners before, but I've never done one like this. This, yeah, yeah, this is a little different. It, it, it is a little different. It's, a, it's actually a 56 Morris Miner Woody, right? Correct. Traveler, they call it. Traveler? Yes, okay. Traveler. Well, now, you were saying that, that the... The Morris Miner is from, from the factory. The front end is steel, this is and all the back metal. end's yeah. all from, aluminum? From the back here. From here? From, from, right, from, right here. from there back, that's all aluminum. This is all aluminum? All aluminum. Yeah. From the factory? Yeah, from the factory. Came that way, yeah. Keep the weight down for the little uh -huh. 
four cylinder motor that came with it. Yeah, that's right. Four banger, like 60 horsepower. On a good day. Yeah. 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 And now we got it bumped up to around 700. It's a little, you know, factor 10. You know. yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll get it around. Oh, yeah. It, now, it'll, but I mean, is it at all streetable? It is very streetable, yes. We drive it on the street often. I drive it home. Uh, I drove it over to here today and uh, I drive it at home. But, you know, inside, I mean, this is obviously not on a Morris Minor chassis anymore. This thing no. is, this thing is like. Well, the chassis is all made by uh, Art Morrison. Is that actually still the Morris Minor uh, speedometer? That's Morris yeah, Minor Yes, gauge? it is. It's still the original speedometer, and uh, we've got it, most of the things in it working properly. Wow. But you got the real information coming at you yeah, right at eye up, level yeah, up there. Up here. Low pressure uh, all that up there, yeah. yes. It's you know, this roll cage, it's like individualized. You're, you're it, each caged in there. Yes. Yeah. Man. It's a, it's a five-point harness seat belt. I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, it is definitely a good idea. Definitely a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they were glassed like this originally? Yep, exactly, yeah. Wow. That's the way it was. Bro tree, does she still open up? Yes, she does. And, uh... Oh, man. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. And you, you, uh, you've obviously upholstered everything. Yes, everything all the way to the back. And you've got it so insanely tubbed. I mean, I looked underneath there. There's barely room for a differential. Correct. There's about a six inch axle on each side. That's about <laughs> like, it. like this, right? Yeah, that's inch. about it. Golly. Very, very short. And I, yeah, I bet those uh, wheelie bars come in handy. They do from time to time. If you really step on it, you need them. <laughs> well, yeah. close it back up. You know, at this point, I usually say, oh, let's go up and look at the engine. I've, I've sort of already seen it, but I think there's probably more to see. Let's go look at that baby. Oh, okay. That, uh, that reveals even more aluminum there. What, oh, what yeah. am I looking at, man? This is the uh, 502 Generation 6. Chevrolet motor. It's a uh, got aluminum heads, Edelbrock heads on it. Yeah. It has an 871 BDS supercharger and two Holley 700 carburetors. Pumping out, pumping out around 700 horsepower. My goodness. Rack and pinion steering. Yes. Man, this this custom-made chassis. I mean, you must have really, you must have built it around this engine. Basically. Everything. Yeah. Everything was built around it. Yeah. To make it make it fit. Well, close her back up, man. I, okay. I just think this thing is insane. Now, have you been to, to the uh, Rotten Custom Jamboree here in Mukunji before? Yes, I have. It's a great show, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very good show. Yeah. Got, got kind of a Woodstock thing going today, but... Yeah. <laughs> the weather's a little rough, but we're, we're but still here. It, it didn't stop you. You brought no, it out. No. Well, this thing is completely insane. I respect that. Steve, 56 Morris Minor, and then some. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. Dennis, thank you. Welcome back to My Classic Car. You know, Don, it, it takes a brave man to go hacking and chopping on a Continental Mark II, but, but you did, and you pulled it off. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is gorgeous. You know, this is, this is uh, they only made them 56 and 57, which is this. This is a 56. And they only made a handful of them. Yes. This has been hand-built twice. <laughs> <laughs> but man, it's, this is a wild-looking machine, and it, it's, you know, it, I think it's kind of tough to pull off a, a custom on one of these, but it really looks like you guys did it. I love the... The paint, the baby blue, or there's actually a lot of colors here. Yeah. What, what all is here? It's, there's a fade. I think there's five different blues in the car. No kidding. And they just fade. One fades into the other one. It just uh, Daryl Hollenbeck did the, did the paint on a car. I think it come out really nice. Oh, it did. Well, and I also yes. like the the you know the kind of the the scallops. They're not yeah. they're not pinstripes. Certainly not flames. But it's almost more of a '60s approach yeah. to the custom. Yeah, and it's also subtle. You know, it, it doesn't yeah. jump out at you, so yeah. you have to look to see it. And you got this thing down. I mean, she must be on air. It's on air bags, yeah, yep. Way down. But I love the interior, too. I mean, it's, you know, you got a, a, a white uh, vinyl, I guess. Yes, white and, vinyl. And what a, what a wild dash. Now, that's off of some Mopar, right? Uh, yeah, it's a 67 Plymouth to come oh, out of. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Whoa. Bob Devine did the interior. Yeah? And my wife pretty much picked the colors out. She's, she's got uh, good She's pretty taste. good at that. Yes. She's got good she's taste. She's pretty good at that. Again, this is a, a car that I always thought of as being pretty rectangular. But now that she's chopped down and stuff, it's starting to look a little bit, you know, she looks a little more rounded. Yeah, there's a lot of work been done to the body. There's yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of uh, body modifications. Well, you still got the, uh, the exhaust coming through the bumper. Yep. I always love that. But this is, the whole rear end's been tipped forward, right? Yep. No, it's actually what, yeah, the Continental wheel was, was all sectioned out yeah. to match the glass in, in the back. Now, there. this would have come with a uh, 368 originally. Yes, uh, that's correct. And you've probably you changed everything yeah, else. That, yeah, I would imagine changed you that. changed that yes, too, right? Yeah, that's Let's go too. have a look. Yep. Wow, that's no 368. <laughs> no, that's a 454 General Motors. Wow, you want GM? Yep, GM in a, yeah. in a Continental. Wow, yeah. another bold move, <laughs> I tell you. And that fills up the engine bay, and that's a big engine bay. Yes, it is. Yep. Wow. I mean, it's, it's clean, it's uh, you know understated, it's really tasteful. Yes. Well, like I said at the beginning, 
It takes a brave man to go chopping on a Continental Mark II, but you pulled it off. Thanks yeah. for bringing it out, Don. Thank you. Thank Beautiful you. car, man. That is cool. You know, Brian, I like oddball cars. I'm, I'm into them. And this is one of them. This is an oddball car. Yes, this is, is a odd. 51 Nash Statesman, right? Yes, sir. These are such funky looking machines. And uh, nobody's ever made a car quite like this before or since. That's correct. The color scheme is great. Your color is kind of this orange, orange sickle, cream sickle. What do you call it? It's persimmons. Oh. Made by PPG, PPG paint. Mm -hmm. And then a nice cream to go with that. Cream so over that, top. That right. gives me the cream sickle feel. Right. But you know, you really haven't done a heck of a lot to this body. It's, you know, you shaved the handles. Right. What? French the headlights. French the headlights. French the antenna over there. French the antenna, right. Everything else is pretty much original. But this is a, this is a 51 Statesman body. That's correct. You know, the interior is this kind of kind of hop sack material or whatever. But, it, you know, nice job. Clean. You Very know, nice. Look. Right. You built, built it kind of smooth. Yeah, yeah. Didn't overdo it. No, it's, it's, it's a car is classy without over, not being overdone. Yeah, it's minimalist, but you got a tilt column. Tilt column, right? And, uh, it's a 49 gauge cluster instead of a 51. Oh, is that what it, boy, and that, all there in that one gauge. Well, you know, I like, I also like, uh, you know, the metal here trim both front and back, you know, with the little slots in it and stuff. It's cool, and there's a right. lot of glass in this, baby. Car, you know? And they you, go back down, they go down a third. The oh, windows, these, the back windows they, they do? They down, yep. Oh, that's, that's very cool. You, uh, you clean that up nicely. Yeah, it's a ZZ4, 350, 365 horse. So uh, basically a, a, a crate 350, right? Right. Yeah. And you must have flat, or they flattened up the firewall. Yeah, that's all, yeah, that's shaved and decked under the firewall. Ta-da! Yeah, man, this is, this is, this is a weird car, man. This, you named it, it right, it is an oddball, right. but I like it, I respect oddball stuff. Yeah. Thank right? you very Thanks much. Thanks for bringing this baby out. Thank you very much. 51 Nash Statesman. Yeah. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Rod, how you doing, man? I'm good, Dennis. This is a sweet little Rod, Rod. <laughs> this is really nice. You couldn't resist that. I couldn't resist that. No. I, just, I, had to, I had to use it. Um, but you know, I, I, one of the things that caught me when I saw this guy was this almost uh, Pearson Brothers 2D Coupe uh, paint scheme you got going here. It's, it's you know, very retro in that respect. Yes, I decided I wanted to use patriotic colors when well, I painted my old race car. Red, white, and blue. But I tell you, when I saw it, when I saw it at first, I couldn't figure out what it was because this front end, this nose. Okay. Almost everybody uses a 32 shell. Yeah. A deuce grill. Uh, I could not fit that into this configuration. This is a K model Lincoln, so it's still a Ford product. Okay. It's been sec sectioned vertically and narrowed. Quite a lot, because those yeah. were big grills. And then you put yes. the, the mesh in there? The mesh replaced the aluminum Lincoln grill, and uh, this is actually from the Lincoln. This, oh, it is? this okay. piece right here. And then the, the insignia? The, the insignia is 1937 LaSalle grill. You see, you see, you were screwing with me. I, oh, you yeah, got too well, much going you know. on. <laughs> well, I heard you coming in. I was surprised how quiet this was. You got the side pipes. I thought you'd be really loud, but. The side pipes have integral mufflers inside about 24 or 26 oh, okay. inches long. Oh, that's cool. So and then it, you got the, the, the big little tire setup. Yes, there me are that. 16 inch tires, 550 front, 750 rears, wider wheels in the rear. They're Ford's wide five pattern with 1936 Ford hubcaps. Oh yeah, and the body is actually a- Steel body, 1929. 29. You know, I saw the uh, flathead peeking out under yeah. it, which is what really got me. Let's go have a look at that baby. Okay. I love flatheads, man. Louvered hood. Oh, I like that, man. It pops right off. Yeah. So, wow, you know, so what are Three we Three carburetors, yeah. they're all Strombergs, but the middle one is a larger 48 series. The two end ones are 97s. So you're running mostly on the center and mostly until you on get center, on it? Right? Yes, until I really stand on it and then it, it just, uh, hang on tight. <laughs> well, put the, put the top back on. That's, that, that baby just looks so good. And have you been to the, the McCungie Jamboree here before? Oh, yes. Yes, this is, we're only 13 miles down the road, oh, so, so you, we're you close, would, close to home. One, yeah, right? I wouldn't miss this one. <laughs> well, man, you got a great car. I'm glad you brought it out. You Thank don't you mind Dennis. rain, obviously, because you're used to it all the time. Oh, yeah. This liquid sunshine. Uh, 2D, 2D Roadster. We'll call it the 2D Roadster. Okay. <laughs> I like it, man.